Does this depict the Elder Tribe? Elder comes from an ancient word, meaning only the Old Ones. It was an alias given by our ancestors to outsiders who visited the village in the distant past. As for our original name, you know it well by now. We were humans. The human tribe. So Luis's words... There is no human tribe. Tribes, as we know them today, did not exist then. We were all one people. Humankind. A world united. But wait. The ruins on Virga Island. There's nothing left of the civilization today. Was it destroyed? Why? How? A war. One that all but destroyed the world past. But its destruction was born of the discovery of Magla. Or as you call it today, magic. <laughs> Do you wonder what they battled over? Without the divided tribes, what could they have disagreed on? They were wrecked by division. Over the abstract, undefinable idea of rightness. They tried to destroy something invisible, and destroyed only themselves. And any idea of absolute rightness is born of fear. That fear flooded the world and gave way to war. And their age of prosperity came to be called the world before. The people we now call tribes were either born of artificial division for the sake of the war effort, or natural adaptation to survive the hellscape after. <sighs> Unbelievable. We've met plenty of people caught up in pointless conflicts. Given the choice, I know they'd rather live in a world without tribal division. And yet the truth is, that world's already fallen apart. More than that. It's how we all got here. Such drastic physical changes would normally have taken eons to effect. Accelerated by Magla, however, it was only a matter of a scant few centuries. You understand now, yes. We, the Elder, are the survivors of the old world. Our ancestors fled the flames of war and thus escaped the ensuing divisions. <sighs> short of astounding. But then, why do we know these monsters as humans? By the war's end, both sides were consumed by fear. Their magical assaults escalated with each retaliation until it was beyond all control. Our world became a hell. Rampant magla distorts the body and mind. By now, I'm sure you know that better than you ever wish to. Humans are what remains of that branch of humankind that succumbed to melancholia. Broken, horrifying testaments to their own mistakes in the war of magic. Some persist, breed, and multiply as any beast does. Others live centuries of agony before their lives burn out. Even we do not know the full scope of their nature, regardless. When the eight tribes settled in this land, our claim to the human legacy was forgotten. To the people, the name only meant slavering insane monsters. Therefore, we took on an alias instead. The same one by which we are known today. The Elder. So, the old world couldn't control its magic, and... Wait. How does the Sanctus Church fit in? All this revisionist history to spread their magic igniters. Indeed, what are magic igniters to you? Tools for the church to shackle the people, perhaps? Or weapons that hide magic's true potential? Am I close to the mark? In truth, it's the opposite. Igniters are tools made to limit magic. Restraints made in self-discipline, meant to avert a repeat of history's destructive mistakes. The Sanctus Church of today is muddied by greed, but its faith was born of good intentions. 
They once urged self-control, and thus control of one's personal magic. At times, they preached we must close our eyes to the truth when it would only lead us to ruin. By this benign tenet, history was obscured, and the Elder denounced. I had no idea. There's a grim irony in that. His Majesty only hid his son's ancestry to protect him. Yet in the end, that meant Forden could attack the village under any pretext he liked, his motives concealed. With all that said, you have now reclaimed your true form. The friends that stand with you are of different tribes and ideologies, but of one mind. As you are now, you may walk the path of the rightful king. The path of a modern world, where the tribes walk as individuals, yet with mutual respect and cooperation. The Sovereign's power, thou king to be, entrusted with the will of the people. To bear their hopes is to be their rock in the storm, and to face anxiety in their names. Yet, anxiety itself is not something to blindly reject or desperately cast away. It begins with a simple thing, acknowledging its existence. Accept thy weakness, walk forward alongside it, and thou wilt grow strong and true in its company. And besides, Let's do it. Let's fight. That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm with you to the end. No matter what. Why is this coming from? Before we got there, this guiding voice thing told me my duties were over. But what am I gonna do? Just go, okay, bye? Especially after we've come this far together? No. I'm going to face Louise with you. Even if it is scary. Even you've got to cope with anxiety, eh? I've realized something in our travels. Anxiety can lead people astray. But overcoming it makes a person stronger. There's always anxiety in the unknown. I know what it's like to be afraid of something I don't understand. That's why I think it's my duty to help people face and connect with their anxiety. Is that okay? From now on, it's not about orders. I'm with you, because I want to be. <laughs> I'll be counting on you as always. Same here. Stick close to me, okay? past the worst of it, but the problem remains. Luis's dark magic. We've seen it turn the boy into a monster, and no doubt he can do it again. A forbidden spell, turning sane mortals into the fearsome human monsters. In other words, a destabilizing magic, turning a person's magler into a snarl beyond control. This man named Luis. He may have his own past in this ancient sanctum. Luis has been here? What do you know of him? What do you wish to know? What is this forbidden spell? The essence of magic is in the control of Magla. 
However, just as its chaos may be calmed, it can also be deliberately pushed out of control. That was what you saw. He whipped your innate magic to a frenzy and you were lost to melancholia. Just as the humans of the ancient war once were. In every age, the cause and effect are the same. People learn fear, become slaves to their anxiety, suffer, and thus, the power of magic is born. Pardon me. You mean to say anxiety is the source of all magic? Magla is a substance born of the heart, generated when one feels anxiety or fear. By certain means, it may be kindled into power. That is what we call magic. In this way, it is by virtue of the anxiety in our hearts that we gain the power to overcome it. Magic is a natural process, and anxiety is its invaluable, irreducible fuel. But in turn, those burdened with more anxiety and fear produce more and more magla from their hearts. Without the willpower to face your fear, the magla overflows. Uncontrollable by magic, it can give rise to strange and terrible happenings as it manifests. With the world embroiled in chaos, these outbursts of swollen magic may be happening all across our kingdom. Tis the answer to everything. The melancholia crystals, the beasts driven feral. The very land is erupting with the weight of its people's fears. Hold on. If Luis's art is rooted in bringing out this chaos, then anyone might be next. He said he became a monster because he's elder, but that wasn't the complete story. If what you say is true... Indeed. All people today are ultimately descendants of humankind. If Luis so chooses, he could turn anyone into a human monster. Yet as long as you have the strength to confront your fears, even this transformation may be defied and overcome. What do you wish to know? Who exactly is Luis? Every time I heard of his doings in the wider world, I felt more and more sure that Luis is from this village. His knowledge of humans, his skills in magic, his grasp of darker arts, they're all beyond a mere soldier to begin with, however prodigious. As it happens, a name does occur. Among those old families who perished in the fire, there was one by the name of Caradrius, a family of doctors, I believe. In an effort to better heal the ills of the people, they had studied spells much like the ones he now exploits. The details are long since lost to the fire. But if Luis spares our legacy, that may be the reason for his vast knowledge. Wait! What about Luis's ambition? The vision Rella saw? Do you think he actually wants to turn everyone in the kingdom into humans? There is no known magic strong enough to turn many people at once, and none that can be cast quickly. Even if it was possible, I don't know what it would accomplish. But this is Luis we're talking about. Who knows what he's thinking? But if he would turn people into humans, if in the unlikely event that happens... If there is any motive for such cruelty, it can only be hatred. If Luis is truly from this village, then their fire would have cost him everything. Such unjust tragedy could easily beget a thirst for revenge, even if it meant wielding a magic that twisted life into something terrible instead of uplifting it. Indeed, it seems the opposite of an archetype. A truly dark power. Who goes there? Someone flees! That's him! The malformed assassin who struck at the prince. He's bound for the woods. After him! Stop! You! Zorba. So it was you behind the attack? Indeed it was. I killed the prince, though he died all too easily. And the odd thing was, his aura felt awfully similar to yours. So I decided to bide my time a while and listen. And it's a good thing I did. 
There really is something stranger going on. Who are you? Are you the prince or not? Whatever your answer, I must report back to Lord Luis. Do you have any idea what Luis is really scheming? If he becomes king, everyone in this country is doomed. If that is what Lord Luis so desires, then I shall see it done. It's almost impressive how blind your faith in him is. I suppose it's just easier to follow instead of thinking for himself. He's forgotten anything he really wants. What do you intend to do? The crown is too heavy a burden for your reedy frame. Lord Luis is the true king, who will save the worthy. And you are nothing but a powerless imposter, only fit to be sacrificed. He is no imposter, fiend. His Highness has finally taken his first steps on the road to victory. Here, at his journey's end, after enduring these countless hardships, he has become a true successor, a true ruler, because he knows the people's suffering firsthand. Hmm. Well, imposter or not, it's all the same if he's a corpse. And so I shall return the prince and his dying legacy to the underworld where they belong. Bastard! I wondered why you ran away, but it was all to lure us straight to this monstrosity. Keep your guard up. The Melancholia is fueling his magic power. We've come too far to be stopped by something like him. Let's put our power on full display. shows up again just when we've unlocked some new power. Kind of feels like fate by now. Okay, time for a new fight. Stay on your toes. All right, let's take it down and then get after Zorba. I'm all prepared. Not this. Ring. Fire! This'll be over. Please, after you. Here I go. It rode! I will fight with you. Let's set it up. Now let's go. Burn! Alright, how's that? Let me handle 
sell those apples. All right, leave it to me. Now it can't heal itself anymore. Don't waste your chance. Get in there. Wind should solve this. Let's me throw them away. Gale. You hit their weakness. Don't let them out. I shall confound you. Okay. All yours. Be great. Wind. Your turn. Even my I'd rather refrain You can take them. Out. They won't hold back. got away. I say, you chaps boggle the mind. It's no mean feat to fight on even footing with a human. Hmm. I'd hoped as much. You may yet have the power to face Luis at his full strength. It's good to see you're safe. We've certainly taken these powers a long way. Maybe we thought ourselves invincible. But don't worry. At long last, the prince is safe. In a manner of speaking, everything's going according to plan. Still, what's our next move? The people think you're a monster. We'll not find any public backing like this. Alces once said that His Highness the Prince was a soul born into adversity. He is royalty and elder both, heir to the legacies of heaven and earth. He is water and fire in condemned conflux. When the day comes that His Highness may be revered as the good ruler he can be, then the world will truly be free of prejudice. And that, he said, is why we fight. In his own words, huh? We have to fight for what he believed in. All the more reason we can't turn from this. Right. May. My life is a shield raised in your highness's name. Are you prepared to fight Luis to the bitter end? Of course. I'm prepared. Yes. That determination is how we'll stop him. If he ends up king, he'll be sending all traitors to the gallows. Not just us, but any innocent folks he doesn't find use for. <sighs> Look, I'm never giving up hope either, okay? All we have to do is beat him, right? Looking forward to the victory song. <laughs> well, we've got bigger things to worry about now. But I can't wait to sing it. You... <laughs> I'm still amazed. You really do look just like your mother. Truly. You are a child of fate. Your mother, she loved your father and you with all her heart. The injustice that befell this village is not your fault. But listen well. Once you leave this village, you cannot return until you have fulfilled your ambitions. After all, an old crone like me can't take care of you forever. If you want to overcome your hardest challenges, you'll have to face them yourself. The world's fate is in your hands. Please, put an end to the tragedies of humankind's failures. Thank you, and for everything. Our final battle lies ahead. We cannot lose. Yet, before all else, His Highness has only just awoken. Let us rest in the gauntlet runner for today, and advance to the royal capital tomorrow.